Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, still working on double doors. Uh, if you want to add a button on the outside to prevent mobs from entering your base, uh, you can do that by hooking this button directly up to the pressure plate line on the far side. That would be the easiest, but better be quick because the button will go off and the doors will close. So. Sometimes it's not a problem, but uh, other times, if you're being chased by a creeper and you get caught with the doors, that could be annoying. So what we're going to do is wire them up a little different way. We're going to wire them up such that they stay open until we cross the plates. They'll stay open forever until you cross the plates. It might be nice to have a uh, little cancel button besides here, but it's getting a little too complicated. So anyway, how do you build that? Um, it's a little more complicated. Um, let's start with the easy part. Uh, this side is the same. We've got uh, the, the uh, pressure plates here, and this one this one's running through a repeater into this torch under that door. That's all the same. On the far side, uh, we've moved the torches around a little bit. Um, this is your inverted torch just for the left door there. Uh, the pressure plate line is coming through here. It's uh, going through a repeater uh, for uh, timing adjustments. and it travels into this torch and it turns off uh, turns off that torch and allows this torch to come on opening the doors so that works uh, pretty much the same way as the other one just a little bit different so you can go on here and they'll go off just like normal what's different is the button uh, we're setting the button up here and this is kind of encased in the wall so you don't see this hole here on the far side. Um, the line comes from down the button and it goes into an RS NOR latch. And uh, these can be a little intimidating, uh, but they're actually pretty easy. All an RS NOR latch is is two torches trying to turn each other off. That's really all it is. This torch here is powering that in, uh, repeater, which is powering this block which in turn is powering this block which is keeping this torch off. If you hit the button now this torch was allowed to turn on because this torch went out allowing this torch to come on and now this torch is powering this dust keeping this torch from coming on. So it just switches states and it stays that way until you send a reset line into here and we're going to reset this torch because it's the one that's on by running a line of dust on the top of it and that's coming directly from the pressure plate line so um, now you have a um, RS Nor Life setup what are you going to do with it? Well this is going to be your output this is going to be determining uh, whether the doors are open and closed when this is on they're open and when it's off they're closed so from the torch, we'll take a line directly out, and we got that running into this block here, which is turning off that torch, which is allowing that torch to be on. So that's kind of the same thing as the other side. We're still powering this block and uh, opening the door. A little different is how we split the signal for the other side. This block is being powered by that dust, so we can use that with repeaters by putting a repeater next to that block. This block will power that repeater. In turn, this repeater is powering this block. So now any dust attached to it will be lit up. And you can take that around away from the other torches and run it directly into the opposite side. And that's it. So uh, I, uh, I could uh, Maybe uh, put this in a, a world save for you. 
because um, it is a little bit uh, tricky and you might want to get in here and look at it yourself so I think I'll do that I'll upload this world with uh, all three varieties and uh, then you can uh, check it out and use the one that works best for you all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it